Hi right, guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Escape from Tarkov, the new patch, the 12.11, uh, so the new wipe. My previous guide date, I think it was like a year and a half ago. Uh, some stuff changed in Windows and also some stuff changed in the game. So we we're going to do an update. So first of all, write game mode in your windows make sure that your game mode is activated before i was telling you guys to remove it but they did a lot of change in it and now it's really good uh they make sure that uh they're using the best core on for example your cpu uh that will dedicate it to the game so if you have a ryzen processor like a year ago it was kind of messy the way it was running uh, the game but now it's really good when you use the game mode so really important to use that for the Xbox Game Bar, I really recommend to put this one at off. It will uh, help you a lot with stuttering. So just remove that this and also remove all those Discord and the NVIDIA overlay. Uh, it's all it's causing stuttering a lot of times. So uh, don't don't use that for capture. Make sure background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that you can use if you have an NVIDIA a GPU, you need the 1000 series or more recent. Uh, it's called hardware accelerated GPU. So you just write GPU and you click the graphic setting. I can't show you because I just changed my GPU and now I'm using a Radeon, but it looks like this. So you have like uh, the graphic setting, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, put this one at on and you will need to uh, restart your computer to, uh, to apply it on Entry level and mid range computer, I saw a nice like 3 to 4% boost in your FPS, but on e the uh, high end computer, you will not necessarily see a difference. Another thing that I recommend is your energy plan on your computer. So, right energy, go to power plan, power option. Make sure that you're using balance or high performance. Uh, don't use power saver. Uh, normally, on a desktop computer, you should. And uh, not have the, this issue, it's more for laptops. Some people, I don't know why, when they plug their laptop in the wall, it, it still stay at power saver and they're losing a lot of performance when you're playing games. So if you're using a laptop, gaming laptop, make sure that you're using Windows Balance Profile or high performance. One more thing is the driver. Make sure that you update your drivers or Radeon on their Radeon website. Uh, same thing with NVIDIA. Also, I have dedicated guide on Radeon and even NVIDIA to show you what are the best uh, settings that you can change uh, in their driver. And also, if you're playing on like an Intel CPU with an integrated uh, GPU, uh, go on their website and download the uh, driver for that. Don't just update with Windows. They just give you like a generic driver to make sure that you're seeing your image on your monitor. One more thing that I want to show you is the launcher. If you don't have a lot of RAM, like less than 8 gig of RAM or maybe 12 gig of RAM, click on the arrow over here, go to settings. And when it says, when I launch the game, select exit the launcher completely. So you will save the RAM uh, uh, from your launcher. It's really dependent it's between like 100 and 200 uh, meg of RAM. So it can help you a bit. So now let's go inside of the game. A lot of uh, parameter to change. I will show you how to optimize your game. So now inside of the game. So let's click settings first. We will go in the game section. So first of all, uh, automatic RAM cleaner. A lot of people is asking me question about this. If you have less than 12 gig of RAM, you should definitely check this one. I saw that it touched a little bit my performance when I was checking in and I don't really care. I have 32 gigs of RAM and it doesn't affect me. But if you have like a small amount of RAM, definitely use this one. After that, only use physical core. This one is more like if you don't have multi-trading on your uh, CPU, so you definitely should look at on the internet if you have some. Uh, I, I know like old i5 processor, you don't have multi-threading, so you can definitely click this one and use it. But if you have like SMT uh, on Ryzen processor or hyper-threading on Intel, don't check this one. For FOV, uh, I didn't do an, uh, a bunch of tests for this one. Um, it, it really depends. I, I remember I saw a couple of video that was messing up the, the aim. Me, I'm playing at 59 because it's a vertical FOV and I always play 90 uh, horizontal FOV. So 59 vertically is uh, almost equal at 90. So that's why I'm using that. But definitely don't go too crazy. I saw uh, it's causing some issue. And also you see more stuff in front of you. You will lose FPS if you go high with your FOV. Head bobbing, go with 0.2. You don't want that. 
Uh, after that, screen resolution really depends on your native resolution on your uh, monitor. Me, I just switch my computer for a 2K resolution. Uh, if you're playing 1080p, go with 1080p, so play native. Screen mode here, go with full screen, really important. Borderless and window is causing stuttering for me. Aspect ratio 16 by 9, like re again, depend on your monitor. So me for me, it's a 16 by 9. Just go native with this one. I don't use VSync. Uh, VSync create input lag and also I have a monitor that's compatible with FreeSync. So I'm just using my FreeSync. So I don't have any tiering and I'm not creating any put input lag with the VSync. Texture quality, I recommend to use IFE with this one. Really depend on your uh, uh, amount of VRAM on your video card. If you have more than 4 gig, go with high, 3 gig, medium, and less than 3 gig, go with low. Uh, shadow quality, this one is really important. If I compare ultra to low, you can gain a nice 9 to 11% boost in your FPS. So go with low. First of all, you have you will have more visibility when you play the game and you will have a nice amount of FPS. Object LOD, same thing, go with 2. I compare 4 versus 2, you can get a nice 6% boost in your FPS. So really important to put this one at uh, uh, 2. Overall visibility, it's the uh, view distance in this game. Don't go too crazy with this one. Uh, I tried 3000 in woods and it was crazy. You, you render like uh, very far trees in front of you. So honestly, it really depends on your computer. If you are playing on a low-end computer, go with four, 400. I recommend 1000 for mid-range and almost high-end computer. And definitely, you can go a little bit higher, uh, 1,500 or 2,000, depending on your computer. But I feel like if you have an high-end computer, 1,500 is a good spot. Because sometimes you're getting stuttering when you go too crazy with this one. So that's pretty much it for overall visibility. Shadow visibility, really important. Put this one at minimum. It will give you another nice amount of FPS. For anti-aliasing, this one, you have a couple of options. Uh, normally, I always remove anti-aliasing in-game because uh, I feel like my image is blurry. But honestly, the TAA in this game is well implemented. So I recommend to use it because also when you remove anti-aliasing in this game, it's crazy the amount of aliasing that you have. Everything is kind of moving, so it's tough to spot enemies. So I really recommend TAA uh, for this one. If you're playing on the low-end computer, go with the FXAA. It will give you a 4 to 5% boost in your FPS. Uh, but uh, it's not as good as the TAA for the image quality. Resampling, really important to use 1x. Don't downscale your, com uh, your uh, image. Uh, it will be blurry and it looks like shit. And don't upscale too. Uh, upscale, it will destroy your uh, your performance. Uh, you will lose a lot of FPS. So really important to put this one at 1x. Ambient inclusion, put this one at off. You can have a nice boost with this one, like 4 to 5% boost. SSR, the reflection, again, go with off. A nice 4% here. Uh, anisotropic filtering, I'm going with off. I didn't see any difference with it. I, I think it's still not working in this game. Uh, probably they will maybe do something with it. Uh, normally, anisotropic filtering, you have like 4x, 8x, uh, 16x, and it doesn't too affect too much your FPS. It really depends on your VRAM, but uh, in this game, I just go with off. If you have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, you can definitely go with on with this one. Uh, you can put the uh, boost plus on. Uh, before, I was using an NVIDIA card, but now I'm using uh, a Radeon. I just changed my video card for a 6900XT. So that's why I can't use this uh, parameter. For sharpness, uh, me, I'm playing 0.5. It's a question of preference. So don't, don't go too crazy with this one, like 0 0.5, 0 0.7, something like that. If you are a streamer, I recommend to use zero. Uh, if you're, you're putting too much sharpness, uh, it will like decrease a lot your image quality when you stream. Not yours, but the one that viewers will see because you're asking like uh, sharpness on grass and stuff like that. And you limit it to 6,000 bit rates on Twitch and it will affect a lot your image quality. So if you're streaming, I recommend to go with zero. Uh, if you don't care about your image quality, just go with 0.5. Uh, viewer will struggle to see you, but uh, it will be uh, good for uh, for you. Lobby FPS, just put max at 60. Game FPS limit. This one for me, it's new because I remember it was a lock at 120. Now it's 144, so it's pretty good. Uh, I did the test and for me, it's running at 146. So I'm getting two FPS more. So it's not 144. I have a 170 Hertz monitor. So I hope someday we will... Uh, 
we we they, they will just unlock fps in this game but i feel like they need to work on the engines to do that for all the option over here i recommend just uncheck everything uh, it will be better for your fps so really important all of them unchecked post effects i will probably do a dedicated video for this one i need to do some testing i was reusing some post effects from nvidia back in the days and now i will need to check this one and uh yeah because i want to use like one post effect for all uh, the different maps so i don't want to change it every time and finally this sound uh, this is pretty much where you change your stuff i don't think binaural audio is working right now but uh i still check kit so if they're doing a patch and they reactivate it it will work but it will not necessarily affect your fps except maybe if you have like a very very old computer so that's about it guys for the guide uh if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace